So everyone's looking for an e-bike for Christmas. And they don't know what kind of e-bike to get. If you're looking for an e-bike for your son or your daughter, get a cheap e-bike from Walmart. Don't spend a thousand dollars on an e-bike for them. Some of these pictured e-bikes here cost thousands of dollars. Now, any e-bike is a good e-bike. Remember that before we go any further than this. Any e-bike you get for your son or daughter is a good e-bike. I would recommend getting a $400 e-bike from Walmart. Get the warranty. If you don't feel safe with, you know, if, as long as if you're kind of scared of, you know, cheaper bikes, I would get the warranty just to protect you, you know. Um, other than that, I think you'll be fine. Now, if you're looking for a bike uh, for your first e-bike, my first e-bike costs $900. So I would recommend getting a cheaper $1,000 bike and the event on right on up there's bikes in that price range if you want to spend a little bit less walmart's you go to i would recommend going on walmart and if you're an older adult in your 30s 40s 50s uh event on ride one up electric um i don't know about schwinn i heard some mixed reviews but the first three I mentioned are all great. And if you're looking for like a motorcycle bike, there are a lot of like moped style bikes. Uh, I think the big one is uh, Suron. These are bikes that you can't pedal. They're not meant to pedal. So you get a Suron or something in that range. But you're talking five, six thousand dollars. So, um, yeah. And if you're looking for a bike that doesn't look like a e-bike, Schwinn, which they don't have a great reputation anymore. They got a nice looking bike, but Ride One Up has a gravel bike and a street bike that has a hidden battery. Really nice, really nice. Um, I think the other ones too, but they look a little bit more bulkier. So yeah, just do your research. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit.